speech, which is about leading a volunteer organization. Uh, tonight, his speech is, is called Turbulent Commander. Uh, Turbulent Commander, Florian Bay. It was a beautiful day in May 2019. The sun was shining and I was on my way to Gatwick Airport in a train packed with holiday makers. Just like them, I was tired and blurry eyed and excited too and pumped heavy metal music through my headphone to keep the energy levels up. However, unlike them, I wasn't flying off on holidays or perhaps meeting some exotic stewardess that has flown from far away in Hilton Gatwick Airport for a date. Nope. I was going to spend the whole day in a meeting room in this, uh, in this hotel with the my Toastmaster team. It was the start, the almost effective start of my year as district director. And the title of my presentation that day said it all. Making District num 91 number one. Turning District 91, Southern Britain, into the best Toastmasters district in the world. The team got on, board with, uh, got on board with the vision, and we quickly went to work. We put together an innovative board game to kind of get people entertained and learn in, in what we had in mind in a, fun, uh, in a fun and creative way. At the suggestion of, of one of the team members, we got some professionals to do the communication for us, paid for a venue and paid for the professional camera crew to take some videos that we would be spreading far across the internet, something we'd never been done before. And whenever there was an event, whenever something happened, myself and the team were on call, giving some pep talks, handing out some awards, handing out some badges, handing out some, some ribbons. The year was going really, really well indeed. It was the culmination of multiple years of work as a Toastmaster leader coming together. Plans such as incentive, incentive boards and newsletters and demo boxes that were all coming together so that this year would be a triumph. I set out to lead from the front and I crisscrossed the district, racking up thousands of rail miles, going from Exeter to Canary Wharf, and from Maidstone to Maidenhead. Meeting our members, meeting our leaders, whenever I could do it. One of my favorite memories of the year actually is sitting on a train that was on a single, on a picturesque single track railway line through the rolling green hills of Wiltshire. And, I, and it, it makes that beautiful scenery. I was just busy going through the couple of dozens of emails that I had received that day. I loved it. Everything was going according to plan. And at the halfway point, it came time to say to the wider team in that same room in Hilton Gatwick Airport, had we done, were we on track to become number one in the world? We presented some figures. Look, we've been, we've been playing around with geospatial science, doing some cool stuff. We've done some videos in front of a green screen, something we'd never done before. We've, done, we've had an innovative board game. We've trained more people than ever before, renew, and more of our members have been renewing than ever before. And we are number one in the world by a mile on a major success metric. Vision started to fill our minds. The convention was due to be in Paris this year. Hundreds of our members would be flocking through over the channel to join us on the Hall of Fame as it will be announced that District 91 would be one of the best district, the best district in the Toastmaster world. And I looked with pride. It was set to be an historical year and I was doing better than my predecessor that were older and far more experienced than me in all areas of life. But fate decided otherwise. And a couple of things happened earlier this year, as we all know. At one point, I sat on my, uh, on my sofa just over there at the end of March in despair and wondered, have I failed? Am I a failure as district director? There isn't going to be a Hall of Fame this year. 
there isn't going to be accolades and raucous celebration of a drinks and f uh, of food and how well we've done. Did I fail my mission? Yes, the district moved online, an event that would forever define my term as district director. But were we successful? Yes, we were. And it took me one thing to realize it. It was the 360 feedback exercise I, I did with my entire team. I asked them, how do you feel I did as your leader? I braced myself for some tough feedback because some people had told me before, you need to listen more. You need to speak less. You need to become softer. A leader is somebody that people, people feel confident that they can kind of cry on his shoulder and confide in, become more like this. And a personality test that told me that was the opposite of that. I was an ENTJT, a turbulent commander, somebody that can ruthlessly turn, or, turn chaos into order and can be quite difficult to work with at times. And the, the feedback exercise confirmed just that, that I was indeed a turbulent commander. But almost Everybody in the team praised me. We had a consistent vision throughout the year that was simple and easy to understand. One, 70, 100. And we understood why it all matters. It was beautifully communicated. We were all on board. They praised me for leading from the front, for joining them in visiting clubs all over, all over our district. And they also told me that I had been there to listen to them when the going got tough. Some of them praised me for the crazy targets we had when we moved online. 1,000 people at the conference. It was meant to be crazy, but we did it anyway. We didn't achieve number one district in the world that year. We only got second place on this major metric, but that's something I still feel extremely proud of. And I learned in my year as district director the best leadership lesson that nobody had given me until then. And that lesson is, don't try to become somebody that you're not. Instead, just become a better version of yourself. Become a better version of the turbulent commander that can turn chaos into order ruthlessly. Madame Toastmaster. Thank you, Florian. Fantastic.